Hi, I'm Simon from Sailing Brisbane, and we help people become more confident sailing cruisers. This is my good friend, Len. And today, what are we gonna talk about? The old war between cats and mono. Because we don't have any favorites at all, do we, Simon? No. 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 <laughs> Simon, I don't care what you say about cats. They're better, always. At least they're not half a boat. What do you mean half a boat? Can't sail properly, because that's why you have to have a second hold, like a training wheel on a bike. <laughs> Love it, hell. At least I get the sleep level. Are we level now? Because we're motoring. It's got it's because we're motoring. <laughs> Cats always motor, even when it's windy. Oh! <laughs> Good night, Simon. Good night. We're on uh, day nine, nine ten. Day, ten. day ten of a passage from St. Martin to the United States, and uh, that's why we're uh, that's why we're out in this beautiful uh, condition mm -hmm. right now. So the first thing we're going to talk about is livability. What's it like to live on the boat? The differences between the cat and the mono. Stability at a bay, or in, a, in a, on anchor anywhere, really, or on a ball. Yes. You, you, you roll less. You you're flat and level more. Right, two holes will give you that. And the problem with the mono is if it gets into a rolling anchorage, it, it can get pretty uncomfortable and sometimes unattainable. To counteract that, what, what I do is I read up what, what the bay is going to be like, and if it says it's rolling in northern, northerly winds, well, it's northerly winds, I'm not going to go in there that day. And then, and then I go in another day. Well, on a foot to foot comparison, let's say, 50 versus 50, uh, a cat's always gonna have more space. Right, yeah. you've got the second hull. Yeah. And, and the rule of thumb is 40% more overall length for a mono hull to give you the same interior living space as a catamaran. Yeah. Now, that's not a scientifically proven fact, but it's, give or take, that's, that's, that's about the number. You can't be like for like size, the cat and the space. Well, breaking here, we have a deck salute, and people that live on cats are actually really shocked about the size of the open space. Right. Now, a lot of mono holes are, they've got little windows, and I can, I can uh, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty cavernous, right? Fluidity between the cockpit and the yeah. salon galley that you get from a catamaran, where you're basically living all on the same level. You've got helm helm to galley quite often. You yep. can sit at the helm, you can talk to the person who's inside. That's always nice. Easy access, and you're not having to climb downstairs to no. get in and out of the boat. But that whole open living, living on the same level space is, is nice. Yeah, sometimes it's quite nice, nice when I'm going down cooking yeah, and I've yeah, got yeah. quite a few people on there. Sometimes I quite like it to get away and just be with by myself. But I can, I can see the point. Of yeah, personal. absolutely. Yeah, we, we need to talk about outside space. I spent 95% of the time out here. Totally. And that's one of the biggest things I tell anybody that comes on here or is talking to me about buying a boat. Get the best cockpit area that you can get. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Because you spend all the time out here. Hands down, the bigger area is on the catamaran yeah. because you've got the twin holes and then the, the, the inner Space deck on that. Twin. I always say you sail on the mono hole, but you have friends on a catamaran, so you go, <laughs> <party> on there. <laughs> Some of them upper helms, like mine. Yep. Right? You can sit six, eight people up there comfortably. Yep. Um, it's fun. It's a fun place to sail from. Yep. It's a great visibility. It's spirited. You're, you're still getting a bit of spray, but yep. you're safe and you're relaxed up there. Yep. Trampolines, good for lounging about, kids playing on, yep. tanning, doing whatever. And if you're lucky enough to have a, a forward cockpit like we have on the new boat, that certainly doesn't uh, doesn't hurt for livability. No. So it's a nice place to sit and have a morning coffee and watch the sun come up. More modern monoholes now are a much better area. Like uh, this one is a, a generation four oyster, now the generation six oyster. I actually went on a 56 one of these, same size as boat. And the aft deck, I thought this was good. Oh, that one just blew me away. Oh, wow. It was amazing how they how and they've had they've had to because because mm -hmm. catamarans were just destroying monohull. So the the more modern monohull now is um, has a better use of the aft deck. It, I still don't think it can compare to the party ability yes. of a catamaran. Talk about storage. Let's talk about storage. Well, two hulls. Yes. More sides to hulls, more cabinetry, yep. more storage room. Yeah. Yeah. In defence of monos, you yep. know we've got the big big holes. Yes. And bless her, Kim. If there's a space, she fills it. And I think that's any boater. Yes, I think it is. Yeah. Boy, this boat weighs four ton heavier than it should do because I've built all the stuff we've got on. Monos do have a lot of space, and people go on about cats have, yeah, they've got two holes, but they're generally thinner. And where the monohole is, you know, we're five meters wide, yep. and we've got cavernous uh, spaces in there. I think that all depends a lot on the way the cats and uh, the monos are designed. Now, cats are more susceptible because of their lighter weight design to all the weight you put on them, yes. right? 
So I think we're going to go into that where we get to speed. Oh, that's true. We will yes, talk, we, about, we'll that talk speed. about that Fair enough. A good thing about livability is how easy it is to get on and off the dinghy and back on to the boat. Right. One of our prerequisites when we bought a boat was to have a sugar scoop on the back. And that right. is a flat area at the back of the boat where it's easy access from the dinghy to the back of the boat. A lot of older muller holes do not have that at all. And, you know, when people are asking about boats, I always say try and get uh, something with, with easy access to go back on the back right. of the boat. What about cats? Well, cats, you have two of them. You do. And almost always a sugar scoop. My old boat had really nice low sugar scoops yeah. that you could easily get off and on the dinghy. The new one's a little bit steeper, so it's a little more challenging, but it's still there. Of course, yeah. because they're steeper, you get more interior room. Everything's pushed closer to the back, so they take advantage of that on the inside. So like any boat, that's a trade-off. It's a compromise, right? It's a compromise. Yeah. So that's something you want to be thinking about is how easy it is. If you're going for a monohole, make sure it's easy to get on, where the catamarans generally do have uh, more sugar scoop on that. Yeah. I mean, getting in and out of the water with a ladder, it's, it's going to be the same. A ladder in the water depends how long the ladder is. If it's, <laughs> like, I've been on a catamaran where it was like two. Yes, two, yeah, that two was my old boat. Yes. Like, oh, it's like a contortionist. That was horrible. Yeah. But, but oh, yeah. yeah, so that all depends on the ladder size. Right. So that's not that's not me. Really Make it. sure your ladder's got at least four steps. Yes, please do. Right. Yeah. As far as livability, it's nice to be able to anchor close to shore. Cats draw much less than your typical model. You draw eight feet, right? Yeah. I draw about four and a half, especially in places like the Bahamas. That allows me to uh, get nice and close to shore. Yes. So, and if you've got a, let's say you've got a beach with a shelf, sometimes I can stern tie to the beach, yeah. back that boat within 20 feet of the water, which is pretty fun. Kim loves being away uh, out at the back, but I think maybe that's because we're used to it, but Kim likes to be that because if anything, we were in a place in Greece where it all went wrong yeah. and boats were flying everywhere. And because we were far out, we picked up a hanker and we were gone. Fair where enough. if we were right in the middle of it. And then there is some monoholds that have lifting keels and they can actually go up on the beach. That's true. Uh, like, like some cats. Yeah. So in the next video, we're going to talk about costings, maneuverability, anchoring, going on more in balls, sailing characteristics and the all important speed for me. But uh, hope you enjoyed that subscribe give us a thumbs up and i'll see you soon take care bye